Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, I will be making a joint statement on uh, opposing China's imperialism in East Turkestan, Manchuria, Mongolia, and Tibet. Recently, on June 3rd, 2020, ahead of the 31st anniversary of the Tiananmen Square Massacre, a group of Chinese people proclaimed a so-called new federal state of China, which claims to be a country without the Chinese Communist Party, and it claims that it will bring rule of law, democracy, and freedom to 1.4 billion Chinese people. Looking at their recent declaration, we cannot overlook the striking similarities with the 1912 Provisional Constitution of the Republic of China, otherwise known as Nationalist China, and the 1954 Constitution of the People's Republic of China, commonly known as Communist China. The major similarities are as follows. All three claim to take down a preceding regime and bring about a new China that represents China and the Chinese people. All three claim to end slavery and oppression in one form or another and bring about democracy, freedom, and rule of law. All three claim that there will be equality, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of religion, right to vote, right to be elected, right to privacy, and right to own private property. All three claim to give autonomy to regions and provinces which they claim to be as a part of China. All of them either directly or indirectly illegally claim the countries of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet as being a part of China. Despite the fact that these countries existed as independent nations for a long time before these three political Chinese entities came to existence. When looking at these similarities, one can't see much difference between these three Chinese political entities other than that while one claims to be nationalist, the, other claims, the others claim to be either communist or democratic. In the past century, the people of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet suffered greatly as a result of Chinese nationalist and Chinese communist attempts to occupy and colonize their countries. Both groups sought to assimilate, if not eradicate, the native peoples of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet. We don't wish to see a new Chinese regime promise the same lives as its predecessors only to advance Chinese imperialism in the 21st century. The people of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet have, long, have suffered far too long. It should be very clear to everyone that the only way that we can truly ensure our basic human rights freedoms, and overall existence is by restoring the independence of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet. We must end Chinese occupation and colonization of our lands to ensure our long-term survival. We want to clarify that we are not opposed to the existence of China or the 1.4 billion Chinese people. However, we resolutely oppose all Chinese imperialists who wish to continue China's illegal occupation and colonization of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet, including those who portray themselves as being nationalist, communist, democratic, or whatever different name, title, or political leanings they attribute to themselves. We want to make it very clear to the international community and to these different sets of Chinese political entities that East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet are not a part of China, nor are its people Chinese. For the record, China and the Chinese people have no right to claim East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet as a part of China. Historically, the countries of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, which was originally a part of Mongolia, and Tibet have long maintained their independence for millenniums. And in fact, they don't have any cultural, political, or linguistic ties to China whatsoever. If China and its people want to argue and use China's brief periods, excuse me, of past invasions and occupations of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet as evidence for its baseless claims, 
then the people of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet can also make similar claims over China. Let's not forget that the ancestors of East Turkestan's people, the Huns, also known as the Xinu by the Chinese, the Kukturks, the Uyghurs, and even the Tibetans, the Mongols, and Manchus had invaded and occupied parts of, if not all of, what are the true boundaries of China for many centuries. The Mongols founded the Yuan Dynasty in 1271 and ruled China for over 97 years until 1368. Should the Mongols claim China as a part of Mongolia? The Manchus invaded China in 1644 and ruled China for over 268 years until 1912. Should Manchus claim China as a part of Manchuria? More recently, between 1937 and 1945, Japan invaded and occupied China as well. So can we say that Japan has the right to claim China as a part of Japan? Let it be clear to everyone that China's true boundaries lie within the Great Wall of China. Everything beyond it is not a part of China and never will be. There is no doubt that the Chinese Communist Party will fall. And the current Chinese Empire, known as the People's Republic of China, will fall along with it as well. We kindly call on all Chinese entities and individuals that claim to represent China and its people, especially those who claim to be democratic, to let go of their Sinocentric views and distinguish themselves from their predecessors by acknowledging historical facts, respecting and recognizing the sovereignty of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet, if they are indeed truly democratic as they claim themselves to be. We again reiterate to the international community that the people of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet don't need China and the Chinese people to help develop, govern, modernize, defend, or represent us in any form or fashion. We are highly capable of developing, governing, modernizing, defending, and representing ourselves as independent countries like we have been for millenniums. We don't want conflict with China or its people. We want peace and mutual respect. We respect China's existence within its true boundaries behind the Great Wall. And we ask that China and its people respect the existence of and sovereignty of East Turkestan, Manchuria, South Mongolia, and Tibet. We kindly ask China and its people to stop their aggressive efforts of trying to claim what doesn't belong to them.